welcome everyone to this educational video this is the second video for dedicated instances and dedicated host in our first video you have understood about what dedicated instances are and what dedicated host means as you know dedicated host is a host which is dedicatedly allocated to one particular customer or one particular aws account whereas whenever a dedicated instance is launched the underlying host is made dedicated for that particular aws account or that particular customer so in this video we will understand and look into detail of how we can allocate a dedicated host and can launch a dedicated instance live into the aws console let's begin this is the aws management console landing page and to allocate a dedicated host we need to go to ec2 we have clicked on ec2 this is the dashboard ec2 dashboard and to allocate a dedicated host we will move to dedicated host and on right hand side we will select allocate dedicated host now these are few of the information which we need to provide and this will belong to our dedicated host functionalities so let's take a look on each of these the very first is instance family as the name describe here we need to choose our instance family which our dedicated host will belong to for this demo let's choose m5 as an instance family now the second option is support multiple instance type here we can either enable it or disable it so this feature allow us to allow this dedicated host to launch multiple type of instances belonging to a particular instance family for example if we enable this then this in this is this dedicated host will have the functionality to launch different type of m5 instance types which can be launched on this dedicated host and if we just disable this we, we need to choose a particular instance type which we can launch on this dedicated host so for this demo purpose we will just allow this dedicated host to allow to allow launching of multiple is multiple ec2 instances now the important point here to remember is that there are a limited instance families that support multiple instance type for example if we choose a different instance family let's choose for a smaller one m4 then this option is not highlighted this means that specific instance families have this option where we can enable or enable this supporting multiple instance types for your knowledge few of the uh, instance families which support are a1 c5 c5n m5 m5n r5 and r5n these continuously are getting changed by the aws so for the latest information you can refer the aws documentation for this demo purpose i am again choosing this m5 so that i can enable this option the next option is availability zone as you know the availability zone is referred as a physical data center onto a particular region so by selecting a particular availability zone we dedicated we dedicate this dedicated host to a particular geography now say, now the another option is instance auto placement before giving you more information on this let's discuss what auto placement means auto placement is configured at, at the host level and it allow us to manage whether the instance that we need to launch will be launched onto a particular specific host or onto any available host that has the matching configuration when an auto placement of a dedicated host is disabled it only accepts host tenancy instances that specify a unique id when this auto placement is enabled it accepts any untargeted instance launch that matches instance type configuration so this this in this demo we will just enable this option host recovery let's understand host recovery also 
the host recovery automatically restart our instance onto a new replacement host if it detects any failure into the dedicated host this is a good option and we will enable it quantity is where we just mention how many dedicated hosts we need tag as you all know it is a key value pair which is used to organize our aws resources so this is an optional one we can choose it we, we can provide the tags or we can leave it after providing all these details we will just select on allocate and you can see this error this is my demo account so i am not allowed to get a dedicated uh, allocate a dedicated host so i am getting this error we need to just increase the service limits by going by raising a request to aws and then we can allocate a dedicated a dedicated host into our account after you have allocated dedicated host you can launch instances onto it you can launch instances with the tenancy as an host if you have already allocated a dedicated host so we have got the two options to launch an instance the on onto a particular dedicated host the first is to launch an instance on a specific dedicated host from the uh, dedicated host home page which you have already seen here if we go to dedicated host dashboard from here and the second is to launch an instance onto the dedicated host using the launch instance wizard that is by clicking on instance it is getting some delay or bandwidth issue let's wait for it clicking on launch instance select the ami instance type to get all this information i have already created a video and it is in my playlist and i will give you in the uh, i tab also but for the dedicated instance to launch we need to choose from this tenancy and we have this option of dedicated instance or uh, launch the instance on a dedicated host from this we can choose and launch our instance for this demo i am just cancelling it right now you can refer my ec2 instance uh, video for more detail i hope you must have liked this information and you will you learned something new about this dedicated host in my new video i will just update more information when my service limits are increased and i will request everyone to go through it do share your feedback on this video and i will try to implement all those thank you